Hello and welcome to a new video about digital technology. We're talking about numbering system. Last time we talked about the binary numbering system. And today we are going to talk about the hexadecimal numbering system. Hexadecimal, hexa 6, decimal 10, 16. 16 different symbols. These are 16 symbols to display value of one digit. Huh? Those symbols are we have the symbols we're using simply we are using numbers. Huh? So we have the 10 symbols of the decimal system. So we have uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then we are adding uh, letters. Simply from the alphabet A, B, C, D, E, F. So we have 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 different symbols. Okay? So this is this is typical hexadecimal. Yeah? And after we have used all the symbols, yeah? so let's write it down. If we have here hex, let's make a table. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, a. B, C, D, E, F, and now we're done. Now it's one, zero. Next one. Yeah. And in decimal representation, decimal, now I try that we get this right. So I will use blocks of four. Decimal representation then, this would be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, still the same, yeah? 8, 9, and now we are over in decimal system, so I already make 10. Yeah? 11, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 16, and so on. That's the representation. Yeah. And if you have a look at this, yeah, if you have a look at this, it's clear that one digit, the first digit in decimal, yeah, it has the value one, right? The value is one. The next digit, what is the next digit worth? 1, 0, 16. 16. The next digit would be 16 times 16. Yeah? So here again we have here the base value 16, yeah? 16, 16. Somewhere here we have the we have if this is the position zero, then this is sixteen raised by the power of zero. This is position one, two, n. Yeah? One squared n. And if we calculate this, sixteen squared, sixteen times sixteen, uh this is uh, 256. 256. Right? Six at risk. 
60, 96, 160, yes, 256. 256 and so on and so on. Yeah. So, what is the what is the highest possible number yeah. or the, 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 the combinations? Always 16 raised by the power of n. Yeah. These are the combinations, numbers possible. Yeah. Possible combinations with n digits sixteen base value raised by the power of n uh, and maximum displayed value. Uh, 16 raised by the power of n minus 1. Here, yeah, 16 combinations if n is 1 and maximum is 15. All right? Yeah. And this is how this is working. Yeah? So why is the hexadecimal system that important? Because if you remember, yeah, here, in the binary numbering system, we have we had had with four digits we have sixteen different possibilities. Yeah? These are the sixteen possibilities with four digits. Yeah? This is what I wrote down last time. So, and here we have sixteen different different uh, symbols. This means a hexadecimal. Value can display one digit can display exactly a block of four. Yeah, so if we write here down the binary also, it's getting a little bit tight, but we will manage binary. It would look like it would look like that. Yeah. So I was group of four, we said 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. Yeah? And then 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, one zero one 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 zero zero one one zero one 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 zero one 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 yeah? and here we would have one zero 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 so always in packs of four yeah? those this binary system is working pretty well yeah? in, in, in 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 packs of four yeah? And in most digital circuits, we are working with the binary system simply because we turn a voltage on or off. So we have 0 or 1. Yeah? So if we have, for instance, a binary number, I don't know, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, I can immediately take the blocks, yeah? 4 bits, doesn't really matter how many digits. Does not really matter. Yeah? I can immediately, so this is bin, bin. Yeah? I can immediately transfer it to, to hexadecimal. Hexadecimal, this, this is 4. Yeah? And what is this? This is 8. And I have to note hex. It's not 48 decimal, it's 48 hexadecimal. Yeah? This is totally different because it would be then in decimal, this would be 8, 4 times 16 plus, all right? So this is 40, uh, 20, uh, 64 plus 8 uh, is 72, 72 dates. This is different, right? Because this is this first digit, value 1. Here we have 
value 1 yeah? and this is value 16 yeah, what I wrote here yeah? 1 16 8 times 1 4 times 16 and adding decimal okay and to get from decimal to hexadecimal I mean from 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 binary to hex this is rather easy here from hex to decimal we have managed and now from decimal to to uh, bin uh, from decimal to hexadecimal that's also good now I managed to speak it out yeah so let's say we want to transfer this 72 yeah 72 divided by and now the base value is 16 yeah. how many times 16 is inside uh, 72 it's four times four times and what is the rest four times 16 is uh, uh, 64 so the rest is 8 and then we take this 4 divided by the base value 16 this is zero, so this indicates we are over, and the rest, the remainder, is four. Uh, and then we read it that way. Yeah, it's four eight x. It's given the same value. Uh. You see, we've divided by sixteen. This is already uh, not that easy. Yeah, so we probably would need a calculator anyway, and. Most of the calculators nowadays are already that distinguished that they have a button or that you can easily transfer into different numbering systems. Yeah? However, from binary to hex and vice versa, this is important yeah? because it's not easy if you have a number of zeros and ones, yeah? a lot of zeros and ones combinations, it's not easy for us to read. Are there now five or six zeros in a row? I don't know. Yeah? And if you wrote, write it down in hexadecimal number, the number is getting much shorter and much easier to read. So it helps us to understand the bit combination. This is the reason for hexadecimal. And it's very, it's very nice because those, those things uh, simply, simply fit. Yeah? Four digits one digit, four digit, one digit. There is no shift somewhere. This is the big benefit of the hexadecimal system. And somebody said, hey, but I'm used to the decimal system. So why not? Then I'm not using binary numbers, I'm using something else, a different code. And this code, which is somehow marrying or this benefit in from hexadecimal numbering system transfer into the decimal number system, decimal number system. This is called binary coded decimal number. And this is the topic of our next video. BCD, binary coded digital number. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.